This video is meant for the educational purpose. Please ensure you understand the step before using any script. The goal is to help you to learn how to complete the lab effectively while following the quick lab turns and services and YouTube community guidelines. To this channel and I hope you guys are doing absolutely fine. So first of all, just me log in with your username one and password. Once done with that, just me come back over here, click on the checkbox and then just me click on agree and continue. Now in the description box of this video, I will share one GitHub link. Just me click on that link and then you are able to access this file over here. Now just me scroll down and from where you can see this URL. So just me open this thing in incognito window like this way. So now just me wait. Okay, now just me click on this continue button over here. Then just me choose the scan selector project and then just me click on this continue. Scroll down, click on this edit button. From here, just me choose the report daily. This one. Then again, click over here. Again, just me select the same thing. Re profile daily over here, like this way. Now just me click on this done. So it's done. Scroll down, click on this continue. Scroll down again, click on this continue. Again, just me scroll down and here you can see data set ID and the folder table ID. For that, just me come back to the lab instructions, click on the task number one, scroll down a little bit and from here you can see this data set ID and table ID. Remember the data set ID and table ID name. So just me copy this and paste over here like this way. Then copy the table ID like this way and paste over here like this way. Scroll down, then click on this continue. Again, scroll down, click on this continue, continue and for the name, just me copy this name carefully and paste over here that's it now just me click on this create button over here then just me click on this create configuration it will take a couple of seconds meanwhile just me come back over here and activate the cloud shell now click on this continue And now click on this authorize now make sure that before running any command from the github over here you can see this command make sure that you have to just me check over here you have to make sure that this kind of discovery is created for you okay now what you do just me come back over here copy this command just me come back to the dashboard paste hit enter just me wait and now here you can see is asking for the username too for that just me come back over here from here just me copy this username to paste hit enter now we have to just me wait for this command get execute and once it's done we are done with the 40 percent of the lab so just me wait and it's finally done now what you do just me come back over here and just me search for the big query like this way open this thing new tab come back over here click on this done click on this down arrow scroll down and from here you can see this order data set just me click over here click on this edit details and scroll down and here you can see tag just me click on this down arrow from here just me choose select current project and from here as a key just me click over here from this filter just me choose sp double i like this way just me select that and for the value just me select no like this way once you're done with this click on this save so it's done. Now you have to do the last task. Just me search for the Vertex AI, open this thing new tab, come back over here, click on this workbench and then just me click on this open Jupyter lab. And it's finally done. Now just me click on this terminal over here like this way. Now come back over here and just me copy this last command, copy like this, come back, paste, hit enter. Wait for a second and it's done. Now just me wait for a couple of seconds and after that just me click on this de-identify model file. This file over here. Okay. Okay. Now if you are using a Jupyter notebook for the first time, so for running a shell or we can say command, you can just me click on this play button or we can just hit shift and enter. Just make sure that your kernel must be python 3 and it should be ideal. If it is busy disconnecting that time you have to just wait. Now just scroll down, click over here, run like this way, just wait. And it's done. Now what you do, we have to restart the kernel. For that, we have to just me run this shell over here. So just me run this. Wait for a second. 
you will get this kind of pop-up click on this ok just me wait now and finally it's ideal now just me hit shift and enter till end like this way now just me wait for to all this command get execute and it's done now if we just me come back over here and click on the check my progress for each and every task you will get a score without any issue and if the score is not updated for any particular task no need to worry just me wait for a couple of minutes and you will get a full score over here for sure so just me wait and watch And as you can see, it's done. And in this way, we have to complete this lab. If you still have any doubts, please do let me in the comment section. Thanks for watching and have a good day, guys. Remember, this video is for educational purpose. Please make sure you understand the step and follow the quick lab terms and services and YouTube community guidelines.